Hello, Victor here from 3 in 1 Golf. Today we'll be playing another three holes with the OptiShot. Uh, I've also decided to purchase the Skytrack. Also, guys, uh, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, I'll give you more content showing off the OptiShot, Skytrack. Uh, I'll also give uh, tips and tricks uh, on uh, uh, training exercises. I damaged my wrist three years ago uh, uh, and I got some pretty bad nerve damage but now I got some uh, medication for it so I think I'm gonna be uh, playing on around 14 or 15 handicap when I start playing but uh, we'll see if I can improve it. So let's get up to the simulator and play some golf. Okay guys, we're up in the simulator, let's pick up and play. Okay guys, I'm gonna walk you through how to start a course once again, just to show you guys so you know how you do it. So we're gonna press play, then play again. Uh, no, I do not want to start my... Okay guys, we're gonna play a course named uh, Cog's Corner and we're just gonna have one player. I'm not gonna show the settings today, I did it in my last video. Uh, I'll show it up in the right corner. And then we're gonna press play. Okay guys, we have taken up, uh, I have uh, the driver chosen and I have the ball flight in the middle, in the bottom left, bottom right corner. Uh, let's see if we can hit the fairway. And uh, also, we're going to be playing three holes today. We hit the fairway guys, and also I'm not striking, striking the ball as hard as I can because the optishots tend to give a bit more side spin than, than you would get in, uh, outside on the course. And also the, the, the speed, uh, the club speed, isn't uh, always exactly because uh, now I did not hit the ball as hard as, hard as I could, so I got 90 miles per hour swing speed. But uh, I tried to hit one before and got uh, 136 miles per hour swing speed. So uh, if, if the optishot give you, if you think that the optishot give you a wrong reading with the with the swing speed or the side spin. Just hit them all again. It takes like two seconds. Okay, guys, we have 178 meters left. I'm gonna hit that. Uh, we will switch the club to an iron five. Here we go. And we're gonna keep the same ball flight in the middle. Go. Ah, we missed the green. Okay, 13 meters. Let's see if we can get it close. 13 meters. A bit too far. And uh, as, as you know, you can cut on the aftershot. Uh, I wouldn't recommend training putting on it because it's it's better training on a flat uh, just surface outside or on a, on a mat. Oh, we got it! Okay, 
Okay, here's the next hole. It's a par three. Uh, let's see how long it is. Uh, it's uh, 171 meters. So we're gonna hit the we're gonna hit the, the uh, iron five again. Yeah, pretty decent. Okay, next hole, it's a par 4. Let's see how long it is. 366 meters to the flag. Okay, we've got 153 meters. We're gonna switch the club to an iron 8. I might need a 7, but I'm gonna hit an 8. Go, go, go. I should have taken the 7. Okay, I'm gonna hit my 56 degree. It's from the rough. And it's 25 meters to the flag, so... <laughs> okay, we've got this putt for par. 4 meters. Uh, it's four meters to the hole. Ah, <laughs> I'm so bad at cutting the simulators. We're actually not in the green, we're, we're in the rough, we're, but I'm gonna cut from here. Okay, that's, that didn't work. <laughs> At least now we're on the fringe. Uh, we're, we're gonna... Oh, my bad guys. Uh, I didn't have the putter chosen on the last shot. Let's uh, switch to the putter. There we go. Okay, we're on the fringe. It's six meters. There we go. Triple bogey. <laughs> it happens. It happens. Unfortunately, it happens on the real course as well. Yeah, guys. Uh, we're done for today. I'm not going to be playing more. We, we played three holes. Two of them were, were good. And that third one was... Yeah, well, my close game were not, not the best. And uh, in conclusion, just... Uh, for the guys who think about getting the opti shot, uh, it uh, does a good job of reading your swing path, and if the club is open or closed, it does that. I think fa fairly accurate. The ball speed and the club speed can be a bit off. Sometimes way off, uh, like. Uh, uh, my first drive that I hit uh, today with uh, OptiShot 2 was, uh, I think I hit the ball with the driver around 105 or 110 miles per hour with the, with the driver. And uh, the OptiShot read it like I hit the ball mm, 136 miles per hour and I, I know I can't get that high, so the speeds may be off sometimes. But for a starting simulator to practice during the winter, uh, I highly recommend OptiShot for the guys that can't afford the Skytrack or the Miva Plus. You can also go with the, if you have a bit more cash, you can go for the ordinary Miva. 
it's a great device. You can't play any simulation on it, on it but uh, the numbers on it are really good. And guys, as I said before, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It would uh, help me out a lot. And uh, also like the video. And uh, if you got any questions or opinions about the Optishot or Skytrack Mevo Plus or the regular Mevo, feel, feel free to let me know in the comments and I'll try to answer all of uh, you guys' comments. See you in the next video.